our application is now loading so we just need to remove this debug message when you go to home page and when you select any of the trend type let's say uh, currencies and click on get market trends and you will see right here we've got a pretty nice information so this is going to be the currencies so it's got a pretty nice concept here we have the image and i think this is going to the article news this is a very helpful information there's been an ongoing competition between a glm 4.6 as well as the sonnet 4.5 as you can see after a day glm just released their new version which is the glm 4.6 and it's much cheaper compared to uh, sonnet 4 uh, we will have to see whether this is worth trying now i'm going to show you how you can access this for free and do byte coding without spending a dime on this one so what we're going to try here is to create an application within wordpress so we don't have to create the framework from scratch we will use the framework of wordpress to do that now here is the prompt that you can copy and then find any api or an application from rapid api that you can show to the public so in this example, you will see right here, I'm going to use the market trends. So this is going to be the application that we will be creating to test JLM 4.6 if it's powerful enough to create this application. So it's very simple step. It's just like the previous video where I showed you how to create the application from start. Since we have this one prompt that we can use to prompt any LLM, so we're going to copy all this and paste this wave blank notepad. And as you can see here, I pasted it here and name it as market trend tool so this is going to be the tool that we are going to develop so basically it will have the tool itself in front page that means when they open the home page of our wordpress they will immediately see the tool now this one you are going to paste the sample json response so the ai will know how it's going to display the data once you submitted a request so this json response right here can be acquired from rapid api if you take this test endpoint so this is a free api that you can use if you need further usage, then you may have to upgrade, but for just testing this out, it will be free. So you will see right here the results. You can copy everything and paste it in the prompt. If it's not too long, if the response is not too long, you can paste it right away here. If you feel that it's too long and won't fit the context, just trim it down using DeepSeek. So you will just ask DeepSeek to trim down the result. But since this one is not that long, so I can just use this straight away. Now, after you have the response, go to code snippets. And then just grab this also paste that in our prompt just below this response so this code snippet will be the request so as you can see here this is the request create a form to process this so we're gonna paste the request right here and you also need to paste if there are any parameters that you will pass so as you can see right here there are different trend type that we can pass so i just copied this so the ai will know that this is going to be the drop down now everything will be designed accordingly. The page, the PHP, single, the PHP this is very important because every application need to have articles or blog posts. This is to attract traffic. So this is going to design our template right here and everything. So that's the only configuration you need to use this from. Now we're going to copy everything. So we're going to head straight to chat.z.ai. So this is going to be the GLM 4.6. So we're going to paste everything right there. Make sure to activate this deep link so the result will be more effective. All right. Now let's execute and let's see whether this can go in just one prompt. All right. So after just a couple of minutes, GLM 4.6 completed our request. And we have here all the instructions that we need to transform this to a WordPress template. Now we will see if this is going to work accordingly based on the information in our prompt and based on the application that we want to see. Now we see we have all the templates right here. So to easily create these individual files, and later I will show you how you can easily put that in your server. Open any IDE. So in my case, I will use VS Code. So download VS Code. Now create a folder just like this. And there will be instructions here below. So this is going to be the folder name. So copy the market trend tool. And I'm going to rename this just like that. And then we will have to create all these individual files. For example, this single sidebar.php. I'm going to copy the file name. Now inside this folder, create a new file like that. Now copy the code and paste it. All right. So that's how simple you can do everything. But remember, there are folder structure. For example, this content.php. You will need the template parts as a separate folder. So coming back here, create a new folder, paste that right there. And inside the template parts, create content.php. It's very simple. So you don't need to get confused. It's very simple structure right here. Copy this and paste that. So simple as that. So I'm just going to apply to all these files and I'll be right back after creating all these files. All right. So as you can see right here, I created all the files. Now 
to be able to test if this is going to work, what you just need to do is right click and reveal in Finder. So it will open the source file right here. I'll right click this and compress. So once you have the zip file, you can now deploy this to your server. So suppose you are using Hostinger, what you just need to do is add a website and then create a new WordPress site. I'm just going to use the existing one right here so we don't need to do that from the beginning. So you'll go straight to WP Admin and from here, go to Appearance and then click Teams. And here, we will need to add a new team and take this upload team. Now we will browse the zip file that we just created. So you can straight away drive that right there and click Install. So to see whether the team is working, just click on Activate seems to be no issues. Now, this is the site. So when you get this error, you can just simply copy all this. Like the first time you ran and it didn't run, you can just copy the error right here. And what's nice about Postinger is you can simply update your file just by going to the dashboard of the selected site and pick this file manager. So as you can see right here, we will be able to manage all the files right here. And the error that you got, as you can see, I just pasted the error right here and GLM 4.6 provided the updated file. And what you just need to do, for example, it provided the update for functions.php, just copy everything. Now go to the file manager and navigate to your team, which is the market trend here in functions. Just right click and edit and then replace this with the updated version from the GLM 4.6 chat platform. And once everything has been updated, as you can see right here, it's now running. So this is going to be the home page and you select the trend type. Let's see a crypto and in the US and click this get market trends. So as you can see here, we selected crypto. So guys, I'll be honest with you. I had a lot of conversation with GLM 4.6. It did not go really smooth. So I had to paste every error that I found. As you can see here, we even changed the approach from the JavaScript loading to just load the entire page without the Ajax or just completely replace the entire page whenever we select the application. But as you can see here, our application is now loading. So we just need to remove this the bad message. When you go to home page and when you select any of the trend type, let's say uh, currencies and click on get market trends. And you will see right here, we've got a pretty nice information. So this is going to be the currencies. So it's got a pretty nice concept here. We have the image and I think this is going to the article news. This is a very helpful information. You can see right here, we've got the pre-disclosed message, everything. We've got the news right here. And I think what's good about GLM 4.6 chat platform, it can handle a really long conversation without asking you to start a new chat. So this model right here, it's suitable for vibe coding, although you have to copy and paste manually, but the chat platform is really great if you need a lot of information. So you can use this for free, this chat platform, it can handle long conversation. It's not complaining that you need to start a new window or it requires you to start a new chat. It's really great. So our application is done. So as you can see here, you just need to add your latest blog post. You can follow my approach in the description below, how you're gonna add some blog posts right here, but can use this 4.6 for free and create any type of application just by prompting the one that I showed you. You can get the prompt in the description below and go to Rapid API and search for the available tool you want to uh, start creating. I think uh, that's about it. See you in the next one. Leave a comment and let me know what you think.